Nancy had always dreamed of having a son, and as a successful single woman, she decided it was finally her time. However, she soon discovered something unusual about her newly adopted son, something that left her speechless and would forever alter the course of the little boy's life. Nancy had always longed to be a mother, but life seemed to get in the way. She had prioritized her career, carving out her own path as a lawyer, working her way up the ranks until she became a partner at a prestigious law firm in Chicago. She was financially independent and enjoyed the freedom of her single life, but there was always that lingering feeling, that little voice reminding her of how much love she had to give to a child. Raising a child alone would undoubtedly be challenging, but if anyone could do it, Nancy could. Once she set her mind to something, her path was clear, and almost nothing could deter her from reaching her goal. This determination was one of the qualities that made her such an effective lawyer. She didn't need a man in her life to raise a child. She knew she had the strength to do it on her own. Nancy was truly the embodiment of a strong, independent woman. The adoption process was a long one and cost quite a bit of money, but eventually Nancy was approved. She would be adopting a one-year-old baby boy called Brandon. She liked that name. Taking a year-long sabbatical from work, Nancy threw herself into preparing her home for Brandon's arrival. It took a lot of preparation, but the day finally came when she could pick up her new son, and from the moment she saw him, she was in love. He had dark hair, big brown eyes, and chubby cheeks that wobbled a little as he smiled and laughed. Brandon was absolutely adorable. That evening, as she bathed Brandon, she made sure he didn't slip or slide under the water. She smiled as he splashed in the water, waving his arms and seeming to like the warm sensation while smiling at the bubbles that surrounded him. Nancy couldn't believe just how perfect this little boy was. Still, she needed to get him to bed, so she began to bathe him. She carefully rinsed his head and cleaned up and down Brandon's tiny body. Brandon's two tiny feet caught a good scrub, and she worked her way to his arms. But as she got to his hands, Nancy noticed something, a small birthmark. She hadn't even noticed it up until that point. Her eyes went wide, and she let out a tiny scream of shock as she studied his palm. She knew that birthmark. She'd seen it somewhere before, but where? She couldn't quite place it. Her brain filed through millions of memories to try to pinpoint where she'd seen that very birthmark before, and then it finally clicked. One of her friends in school had the same birthmark as Brandon, in the same place too. That must have been a coincidence, right? Well, what Nancy was soon going to discover would really rock her world. You see, being the brilliant mind that she was and not one to let a mystery go, Nancy couldn't drop her curiosity about this birthmark. So when she had Brandon settled in bed, she started to do some research, trying to locate her old school friend who had the same birthmark. She thought that her friend might be able to shed some light on this strange occurrence. Luckily, it appeared that her friend, named Karen, only lived an hour or so away, just outside the city. Nancy messaged her and reached out to her, and Karen said that it would be a good idea to meet and catch up. So, the very next day, Nancy strapped Brandon into the car seat and made her way out to Karen's house. It was a little tricky to find, and they had to stop twice, once to change Brandon's diaper and the second time to feed Brandon. But eventually, they pulled up outside a tired-looking home, Nancy was used to her big modern house, but she didn't judge anyone for living in an old, tired neighborhood. After all, Nancy had lived in a house just like this one many years ago before she made something of herself. Taking Brandon out of the car, Nancy was suddenly nervous. She never got nervous. She wondered why she was having such emotions when visiting an old friend. She knocked on the door, and it opened to reveal her friend. Karen hadn't changed too much. She still had the same eyes and smile that Nancy remembered, but she had just gotten older. It happens. But she took one look at Brandon and burst into tears. Nancy was confused and asked her what was wrong. Leading her to the living room, Karen started to explain. For many years, she had lived with an abusive man. He had done all kinds of despicable and unspeakable things to her and had dragged her down with him. She had seen and done things that were highly illegal, all in the name of her supposed love for that man. 
Karen had found herself entwined in a world of illegal activity with the most questionable and immoral people around. She didn't set out to be a part of that world, but that's where her life had led her. She finally plucked up the courage to leave the man, though, when she found out she was pregnant. Karen didn't want to bring a child into that world, so she moved away and eventually gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. But several days after she arrived at her new home with him, people broke in and took her baby. She didn't know the reason, but when they threatened her with violence if she stopped them and warned her that if she came looking for the baby, they would reveal the list of illegal things Karen had done to the police. It was enough to get her locked away for a long time. Karen was bereft, but she couldn't do anything about it. She had to watch as the people took her baby. What happened to her child after that was a mystery to her. An entire year had passed since that horrific event, and Karen had accepted that she would never see her child again. That is, until Nancy had messaged her and told her about her adopted son's birthmark. She compared her birthmark with little Brandon's, and it was an exact match. The chances of that coincidentally happening were absolutely astronomical. Nancy was shell-shocked and shaken by the tale. She never realized that while she was forging a high-flying career, her friend had been going through so much terrible ordeal. She was in two minds, though. On one hand, she wanted to take Brandon and walk away, blissfully ignorant of the fact that he may be Karen's son. On the other hand, she wanted to help her friend and confirm her suspicion. The latter thought process won, and soon enough, they were at a clinic taking a DNA test. Within several hours, the results were back, and they both excited and astounded Nancy, sending a chill through her. The DNA confirmed that Brandon was Karen's son. The two friends looked at each other with tears in their eyes, and Nancy surprised herself with what she said next, words that would change the lives of both Karen and her beautiful son Brandon. Nancy offered to let Karen have her child back. Knowing he had been forcefully taken from her, Nancy couldn't bear to keep a mother separated from her son. Karen initially refused, but as she looked at the little boy sitting in the stroller, she broke down in tears of happiness. She truly did want him back. But Nancy's kindness didn't stop there. In addition to returning her son, she offered to represent Karen in court, aiming to clear her name of any wrongdoing and hopefully bring her ex-partner and his accomplices to justice. Nancy went above and beyond to ensure Brandon had the best life possible, and if that meant being with Karen, then so be it. She would always be part of his life, and he would grow up knowing the tragically beautiful story of how he was adopted and ultimately reunited with his real mother. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video. Take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.